This is Todd at NC Solar Electric. I've got set up here a solar edge meter that doesn't work. Um, the CTs going into a Hoy Miles inverter. Okay, flip this over as you can see. I'm going to use the H, HM350NT. And uh, yeah, it's. Uh, working from battery. Got two 12 volt, 50 amp bearer power queen batteries. I got an oscilloscope and this is the current flowing through the amp clamp on the positive input. And so you can see there on the bottom, see if I can zoom in. 20 hertz. RMS is 1.86 volt. Max is 3 volt. Minimum is 40 millivolts, and that is referring to the scale. Currently on the 1 millivolt equals 100 milliamps. Hundred times eighteen hundred. It's about eighteen amps. Peak for RMS. Hundred milliamps is one millivolt. We have eighteen hundred and thirty millivolts RMS. Six volts. That's about 29, 29 amps peak. Yeah. My fuse is probably gonna blow. <laughs> it's a 15 amp fuse right here on the A line. It's getting hot. Getting damn hot. Can't find my temperature meter. And it's putting out about 256 watts right now. So it's working. But uh, looks like I need to increase my wire gauge and my fuse size and all that good stuff. Get back to you. Take care. Uh, I put some breakers in here to protect the wires to the meter and put the CTs in the box. Eventually everything will go in a box. The solar edge meter did not work. It has the wrong address. I think it's 1016 and Hoy Miles is looking for 10C1. So that doesn't work. I did order the right meter. Hopefully somebody will buy something and I'll find some way to pay for it. Hey, hey. Anyway, um, I hooked this up. It's currently running on battery. My battery, a little battery charger. Um, there's a little instability in the current from this drock butt converter. I have a current limited at 6.4 amps, well, 6.3 amps. It's current limit. Cute little model. You dial in the voltage, dial in the current, and it puts a current limit on it because without it, it draws like 30 amps peak, which it's only all rated for 11.5. So right now, our mean current is 6.3 um, amps. It says 64 millivolts there. Um, the maximum is 14.2. The RMS is 6.5 roughly. There's this instability. You can see if I shrink the time base, it works pretty good for a little while and then it gets unstable. That's running in current limit. You see, it, it 
looks okay for a little while, then it gets unstable because it's running in current limit all the time. Um, I need a better, better um, slope compensation so it doesn't do that. So I gotta look at the circuit, maybe try something else. But that's what's necessary to run these microinverters off of batteries. You need a buck converter to limit the current. go. Step one. When the new meter arrives, we'll get to step two. It's about to come on. It just came on. Not much current. Ramping up. Five amps. Five amps. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that. So here's what I did. I had this big two ohm resistor, which is probably higher watt, uh, higher resistance than it should be. But see now it's no longer going up to 30 amps. It's putting out power. Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah. It ain't much power, but it's putting out power. Smell that resistor getting hot. Yeah, so it's probably 50 watts it's burning. Yeah, that's five amps, 25 times two. Yep, 50 watts. Yeah, it's getting hot. Yeah, I can handle 50 watts, right? If you have a 50 watt resistor, I'm running it at its max. Woohoo! It's working though. That's a nice, smooth DC current. All right, I got these uh, 0.2 ohm, 100 watt resistors, one on the positive side, one on the negative side. It's running now at um, full power, kind of, <clears throat> for what it has. We have here nice sinusoid current. This is the amps you're looking at. Here, let me see if I can get that triggered. set wrong. There you go. Alright, so we have 12 12.1 <clears throat> amps mean. The max is 15 amps. So 15 amps, the inverter is rated 11.5. So it's exceeding the inverter rating. But the reason for that is because we're only at like 24 volts, 26 volts. So I ordered another battery, third battery coming in here. Then that current should be right where it's supposed to be with a couple of resistors. That this is going to dissipate some power, but it'll dissipate a lot less power when I have 36 volts on it. So, um, that's where we're at. It's working. It's running. Not even warm yet. So, it is what it is. This looks like it could work. I also ordered a, um, a JFET. The JFET can be connected up with the source to gate, uh, I should say, Drain to this wire, source to this wire, gate to this wire. 
and it will act as a constant current source, which would mimic exactly what a solar panel does. Um, don't know if it's work, would it work for sure, but that is the other test I want to do. All right, this is Todd at NC Solar Electric, the DIY solar pa solar power DIY help desk. Yeah, the DIY help desk. That's what I call it. So if you need any help with your DIY projects, give me a call. I've got Hoy Miles inverters. I've got panels for a good price. I've got racking. I've got the power field buckets. I've got home grid. Um, and home grid with solar combined. So give me a call. 877-58-SOLAR. Ask for Todd. Take care. Have a great day.